too much fit. Love in the air, they use it as a weapon. That's what I call friendly fire. They cross you over with some niggas, they ain't even stepping. Whole time they really lying. She fuck with me by an accident and burnt off her blessings. Ain't no point in me trying. I'm from a city where niggas be dying. Get put on a show, lot of mothers be so much. Yo, what is good with my niggas on the Watchy? It's your boy Zay, back in again with another video, bruh. But before you niggas really get into this video, I want you guys to watch this video. Do not hit the like or subscribe button yet. Watch this video first so I can know if you guys like these type of videos. Because if you guys like these type of videos, bruh, I will actually start releasing a lot of gameplay with me doing live commentary instead of me doing a voice overlay like right now. I have adapted. I've became the AIDS at Park. I've became the definition of a sweat due to this archetype. This archetype is so OP, bruh. It shoots more consistently than a play sharp with 94 overall. And the, the point about this build is the simplest build in the game that everyone knows what, what it is, actually. But not everyone knows how to use this build. Not everyone is like me. Not everyone is like Steezo. Not everyone is like Swante. Not everyone is like any of them niggas. Cheeseaholic. Whatever you want to name, my nigga. That can actually dribble on this game. That can actually use this specific archetype. The archetype that I'm using is a pure playmaker. Shooting guard. The only reason why I chose shooting guard is because the badges that I get are all on Hall of Fame that I wanted on Hall of Fame. I get Ankle Breaker on Hall of Fame. I get Timer on Hall of Fame. I get Pick and Roll Maestro on Hall of Fame. I even get Corner Specialist. I even get Quick Reflexes, which I believe goes to gold. Quick Reflexes is so OP. Like, as you guys can see, whenever I missed the ball earlier, I was able to steal it so fast on this game. And my wingspan is the smallest. And I'm 6'7", bro. Name the last time have you ever seen a pure playmaker 6'7", shooting green light threes better than the actual shooting archetype. Not only are those the only badges that I get on this build, I also actually get flashy passer on Hall of Fame, which I do not use. I even get Lob City passer on Hall of Fame. My threes go to a 77 on this build. That's not even including with boost and also whenever I go off of a pick and roll. And if I get an ankle breaker as well and I'm running off of the pick and roll, my guy, that three goes to 85 overall, period. That was the first game as you guys could have seen in the background. This is the second game that I want to show you. I only missed two shots this whole entire game due to it. One of them me being so far away and I missed. I'm going to miss that because how far I was. The second one is was because the center picked up. I can shoot over guards heads at any time that I want to due to this build. This build is so OP. This build can overshoot any type of guard that comes up in the paint. You can even contest stretches, dunk on actual other center builds. You can even 
box out centers and out snag glass cleaners with this build. That's why this build is AIDS. That's why this build has made you become the guy that you always wanted to be at park. As you guys can see, every time I'm open, I'm getting a green or getting a magenta. Magenta are greens as well, but it just don't say that, show that it's green and say that it's a green light. Excellent release. As you guys can see, this whole entire game right here, the only thing that I was doing was trying to get my dimer and my pick and roll up. Those are the only two badges, and you have to have your hot spots. If you do not have your hot spots on this build, do not expect to be able to shoot, period, my guy. Like, the jump shot that I use, bro, is my own custom jump shot that nobody has that I probably will not release unless this video gets maybe 20 to 30 likes. This build right here will turn you into the demigod that you guys always wanted to be. I know many of you have been waiting. <laughs> For this build I know many of you have been scared to make this build this build is better than my last build I don't regret that I lost my account due to me making this build there's even more badges that I get as well I get relentless finisher and acrobat my guy your layups and dunks on this build goes up a lot actually bro it's like you're a slashing like you have slashing in your build even though you cannot get contact dunk packages but even though your wingspan is really really small like your arms is really really small do not think you can't run in the paint and dunk on somebody like if they in the paint this build is so damn tall most of the guards that you ever see at park is either 6'4 six, 6'3 six, or 6'5 you will be able to dunk on all them builds all them guard builds compared to this one single build right here because how tall you are not only that your threes go up that high your your mid rangers and your shot close the shot close is near the inbound part where the goal is at that area is so damn high on the playmaker because they're not really meant to shoot bro i get so many greens near the near the paint and i get so many greens when i'm wide open because not too many people think playmakers can shoot as you guys can see green green light wide open right there too Nobody really thinks a playmaker can shoot as consistently as I've been shooting on them. So I would be expecting for a lot more people to be running playmaker at park too. Like I would be expecting a lot of my subs making this build if they know how to dribble and stuff like that. Like as you guys can see, boom, I could have been shot the ball, but I'm trying to get my pick and roll up like I said. So if you guys are brand new, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay and deuces.